In this video, we're going to talk about variables, specifically the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the controlled variable. Let's start with the independent variable. This is a variable the scientist changes. Another way to think about this is when you look at an experiment, you're looking at the write-up, you want to ask yourself, what is causing the change? Next, when we talk about independent variables, you only want to change one variable at a time. Because if you start changing multiple variables at one time, you're going to have no idea what causes the outcome. And we're going to talk about this here in a little bit. When we talk about the independent variable, we also have to look at a graph. When we look at a graph, the independent variable is on the x-axis. Next, let's talk about the dependent variable. This is a variable that is being tested and measured at the end of the experiment. And a way to think about this is it depends on the independent variable. And the question you can ask yourself when you're looking at an experiment is ask yourself, what is the effect due to the change? Next, let's look at the graph. When you look at a graph, the dependent variable is on the y-axis. Now let's talk about a controlled variable. This is the variable that is kept the same, or the variables that are kept the same, depending on the experiment. Let's walk through an example. Let's say you want to see what causes a green bean plant to grow tall. Well, you want to identify your independent variable, your dependent variable, and your controlled variables. And remember, your independent variable is what you change as a scientist. The dependent variable is the effect of what you change, so what's the outcome. And the controlled variable or variables are what stays the same. So let's say you want to go ahead and test the quantity of water and the effect the quantity of water has on the growth of your green bean plant. So the independent variable would be the amount of water. The dependent variable is the height of the green bean plant. So how tall did the green bean plant grow? And the controlled variables would be the type of fertilizer, the amount of sunlight, the type of soil, and anything else that you're keeping constant that you're not changing. And it's very important to have your controlled variables because let's say I change the amount of water I add and the type of fertilizer I add to each plant, I'm not gonna know what caused the plant to grow taller. I'm not going to know if it was the water or the fertilizer. So you want to make sure everything's kept the same except for one variable, and that's going to be your independent variable. Then once you test the amount of water, then you can go ahead and do a different test and test the amount of fertilizer. So let's say you want to test the type of fertilizer. So that'd be your independent variable. Your dependent variable would still be the height of the green bean plant, but your controlled variables in this case would be the amount of water, the amount of sunlight, and the type of soil.